four levels of wind attack, becoming ill and treating an external pathogen, being cold, flu, or epidemic in traditional Asian medicine. Number one, prevent the wind attack. Improve your core health and righteous qi, your zheng qi, your immunity. And what you can do is traditional Asian medicine. See an acupuncturist to balance and strengthen your body. The first level of wind attack is the Wei Qi level. That's a protective Qi, your skin and hair. The symptoms would be like a tiredness, a malaise that you don't usually have, temperature sensitivity. There might possibly be a fever. And what you can do is acupuncture. There's a release of the exterior treatment specifically to help people overcome wind attacks. Gua Sha the second Kaming, level is Qi herbal level. So that's the Qi of the meridians, the Kuli. The wind attack is going deeper. It's becoming more severe. So you'll see more intensified symptoms, chills and fever, high fever, more intense fatigue body aches, headaches, unfocused. What you can do, again, is acupuncture, gua sha, cupping, the third uh, level prescribed is the herbal. yin or nutritive level, leveled into the internal organs, into the lungs. You might have coughing, dry or wet. There's ch chest congestion. You have poor breathing, painful breathing. The fever may become tidal fever, high or smoldering in the yin, sort of worse at night yeah, acupuncture with insomnia. herbs. Uh, improves breathing, resolves toxic heat in the lungs, disperses qi, prescribed herbal. Now, level four, Zhu level. This is a kind of sepsis. Now it's blood level, heat in the pericardium. The symptoms are fever, high persistence, cyanotic blue lips showing the poor, really poor oxygenation of the blood, severe headache. Do integrative emergency medicine, hospitalize acupuncture and herbs. And people in China did do this. So they were they were hospitalized, but they were using acupuncture herbs and they were being treated with Western So the time between Western levels medicine. depends on the strength of your core health. If you're in poor health, there's going to be a faster progression through the levels. If you're in strong health, there'll be a slower progression. The wisdom of traditional Asian medicine is really the preventative principle, which is number one, avoid most illnesses by supporting your righteous chi and balancing your core number health. Number two, when ill, treat immediately. Treat at every stage, especially the initial stages. Treating at level one and two is the greatest opportunity to stop the progression and overcome a wind attack. Mm -hmm.